a new day and welcome back to my channel and to the glitzy and glamorous yet somehow very grungy Brooklyn, New York. We are here to celebrate a big something zero birthday. Um, I'll let you guess which birthday it is. Um, is she 20? Is she 30? Is she 50? Is she? <laughs> anyway, but yeah, Josh and I have gotten away on a little getaway. That's repetitive. Why are you smirking? Why are you over there smirking? Um, but yes, Josh and I have gone on a little getaway to New York City. We usually do this every winter around my birthday. Um, but this year I feel like it's way different because one, we haven't been here in two years because of the whole pandemic. And um, we were actually doing a whole new area. Usually we do like Midtown Manhattan and all that stuff with the Rockefeller tree. And Midtown is just really pretty at Christmas time, but we decided we're gonna do something else. So we've been spending more time in like the West Village and then now we're in Brooklyn. But I will catch you up so far with what we've done and then we'll get today started. I'm so excited for a New York bagel, probably in the form of a breakfast sandwich, we will see. But yes, yesterday, so what we actually did was we had our kids stay at my mom for the night before. We took them over, tucked them in bed. Once they fell asleep, we came home and we slept in our own bed in our own house Thursday night, which was actually a really weird feeling, but it was actually perfect because then the next morning we got up at 6.50 and we left. And the first stop we wanted to take was to Little Island. And Little Island is kind of close to the West Village and stuff. And we were finding all kinds of cobblestone streets and things. I didn't realize, I knew that part of the city was old and more of like a marshland. There's not skyscrapers in this area as much um, because it is like marshy. So yeah, it was a very quaint little area. After we found parking, we went to Little Island, which is a new public park and it's located along the Hudson River. We were there in the winter, but it was still really beautiful and the leaves were still somewhat colorful in places. And what's really cool is that it's an artificial island and it's built on like giant, what looks kind of like wine glasses. And yeah, it's just a really cool place. You should definitely check out. The view here is amazing. You can look across into New Jersey. You can look down at the Hudson River and you can see Lady Liberty down at the corner. And there's a really pretty bridge you can see off in the distance as well. Plus behind you, there's the whole, you know, Manhattan skyline and everything. So I definitely love this place. I can only imagine how beautiful it would be in the like summertime, fall time, spring time. It was actually a really nice day yesterday though, so 45 degrees and of course it's breezy along the water, but we definitely enjoyed our time at Little Island. And then since we were really close to the High Line, we took the High Line back down towards like the West Village and Soho area and the High Line is actually really pretty too. You get to see all kinds of views again of the Hudson River and everything and uh, we actually stopped at one art installation that I think was installed by Josh. What was that luxury car brand? Genesis. Genesis. Yeah. And it was, it was just, yeah, fun to look around and walk along there. And then pretty soon we came to the end of that. And then we just kind of meandered around in the city. It was so fun to look at all the different shops and I don't know the architecture. I was kind of geeking out over Josh is into construction and stuff too. So we both enjoyed that and it was a lot more chill. It was a Friday, not a Saturday and it was not midtown Manhattan either. So I thought this was a lot more relaxing. So we kind of wanted to walk around with a drink in our hands. So we looked up a place that I thought had really cool branding. It was called Jack Stirbrew Coffee. I ordered a Breve Latte and this drink had me so confused because the first sip or two, I was sure that the half and half had gone bad. And then by the end of it, I was just loving it. It was so good. And they stir brew their coffee and it's kind of like an equivalent of a double shot of espresso. Um, I don't know, they have a whole mechanism one way they do it. So yeah, I don't know. I still think I've had better coffees in my own area, but it was great. And then we went over to the Washington Square Park. I purely just wanted to go here for the photo op at the big archway. This, I would say, is overrated. Little Island, I highly recommend. The High Line was fun too. This was a little overrated except for the picture. That was nice, but there's really nothing to do here in the winter. There was a band playing Christmas music, that, so that was fun. And we got to sit and people watch. The pigeons were flying everywhere. But yeah, I would say if it's on your way, definitely stop, but don't go out of your way to put it on your list. So we were starting to feel hungry and New York is the land of pizza and Josh and I were looking up different places to go to eat and we found one that was high on Dave Portnoy's list. It was called John's on Bleecker Street and there was a line outside of it. I was 
flabbergasted. What? There's a line to get into a pizza shop at 1130? I was very confused. But an older lady and her mom stopped in behind us and got in line and they were telling us, this is worth the wait. You want to go here. It's amazing. And so, yeah, we just stood in line and talked business. And I don't know, I was actually chatting back and forth with my management team. They are in New York City. We thought, thought about meeting up, but you know, it just wasn't going to work out. And then we got our pizza and it was bomb. It was so good. Um, the sauce was like kind of sweet and we just got like a plain regular pizza with mushrooms on and yes it was very good very light we ate almost the whole thing we took two pieces back with us and then we couldn't fit them in our fridge here so sadly they are no more um but yeah very very good pizza and then we strolled on just walking through the streets it wasn't hard to find public restrooms there was like little parks here and there, places like that. So it's definitely a nice area to stroll. There's not a lot of skyscrapers or anything like that, but a lot of old architecture and little shops. We walked up Bleecker Street for a while and uh, um, I took Josh into Love Shack Fancy, which was hilarious just to see him in the store. <laughs> and also we stopped in at the storefront of Stony Clover Lane. I don't know, both of these stores, their aesthetics and their branding is just so tight. I just felt so inspired. One thing we did that was super smart was we've never done this before. We took our car into the city which was super nice. It was kind of like our hub. We did have to pay like 40 bucks for parking for the day, which was very annoying. Um, but other than that, it was really, really nice to have it. And we drove ourselves. I just am not a fan of subways. I kind of get claustrophobic and I don't know. They're fun in like small situations, but if you're trying to get around all day in them, it's just a totally different experience than if you're driving. So we took our van down through the financial district and crossed the Brooklyn Bridge right over into Brooklyn and to Dumbo. And we were staying right at like the foot of the Brooklyn Bridge, but more about that in just a bit. Uh, we couldn't get into our room right away, but we did walk in and check in at the lobby and wow, if I was a hotel lobby, this would be it. <laughs> it was so beautiful, very like rustic glam art installations and like a little seating area, coffee shop. I don't know, just very beautiful all the finishes even their stairwells and their elevators and their bathrooms are just gorgeous but yeah our room was not ready yet and so we decided to walk the brooklyn bridge which i've heard that it can be overrated but personally we loved it it was not super duper packed when we went um there was definitely like room to walk around i mean yes there's people in the backgrounds of your pictures and stuff but that's okay um and we just love this because one the weather was so beautiful it was like 45 and sunny and the architecture just everywhere you look there was the chrysler building which is like this really pretty art deco skyscraper you could see the freedom tower and the eiffel tower eiffel tower <laughs> not the eiffel tower guys and the Empire State Building, the Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island, Governor's Island, all of that. It was very, very beautiful. So I don't know, we just spent a lot of time up here walking around, talking about the kids and thinking we should get them some souvenirs. Um, they did have a lot of souvenir shops set up towards the end that you could buy stuff for really, really cheap if you wanted it. still wasn't ready. Honestly, this is the only downside to this hotel. They did not let us in till like 17 minutes after they were supposed to let us in. But other than that, the one hotel truly treated us great. Um, so sun sets at around 4.30 here. So we went up to the rooftop and just spent the, the evening up there. It was very cold and windy, but so, so beautiful. <laughs>
Okay, so if that view wasn't beautiful enough, then we went to our room. Guys, I'm sitting here. You can see the beautiful lighting coming in on my face here. Let me show you what was on the other side of the window. Take it forward. Yeah. Are, we in, are we in a corner room? I think this is a corner Did you get a corner room? Mm, we're gonna find out. <gasps> oh my word! There's a barge. It's small. That's how weird rooms are, but... Wow. Wow. We still can see the city. You were asking if we have a city or a bridge. That is sweet. <laughs> how cool is this? Pretty cool. Oh my goodness. So here's our little room tour. You walk in and first of all, here's where you get your water. <laughs> How cute. And then it's like a floor to ceiling mirror, a little, a kitchenette or no, it's like the bathroom. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was a kitchen for a second. Oh my word. Everything is super like modern and all the finishing is so cool. The pendant lights over the bed. And of course the best part, the sun has just set and we've got into our room. And this is our view. I feel like a spoiled brat. It's pretty sweet. The only thing that would make it better is like a balcony you could step out onto, which I don't even miss because it's so cold out there. As soon as the sun sets, it just gets so cold. Over here, you can see the Freedom Tower. Way over there is a cute Chrysler building. I don't think I can pick it up. Yeah, it's kind of blocked by the Brooklyn Bridge here. Wow! Short but sweet room tour, right, Josh? <laughs> They're getting on the boat there. There's, I think we can go out and eat on the boat. Oh, yeah, we talked about doing a dinner cruise, but I don't like to be on other people's timelines, you know? Yeah, that's what's on the other side of this window here. I'm looking out at the Hudson, the East River. Right now, as I'm sitting here, people are walking their dogs. It's just, you can see the trains going, the cars, the barges keep coming back and forth, water taxis. I could just sit here all day. Oh my word, so beautiful. This is not the typical type of room we would get, um, but we got the bridge view and it's not a typical kind of thing we would spend money on, but we talked about it and I was like, you know what? We're not gonna fly anywhere. We're not gonna do anything like crazy, crazy. And I hate spending money, so this is like the perfect excuse. Let's get a nice room for one night. And so it has, I do not regret it. I mean, I I love it. It's, it's just worth every penny. But you have to decide what is worth it to you. Maybe the expensive food or something is more worth it to you. So that evening we wanted to get dressed up and go out to eat. But as you'll see, um, prices here in, the, in New York are quite unfathomable sometimes. Okay, <laughs> I just got out of the shower here. I could see the Chrysler Building, the Brooklyn Bridge, and the Empire State Building from the shower. Like, that's crazy. This is a, a once in a lifetime type of room. Um, but anyway, we're headed out to go for supper. I feel like a new woman after a shower and recombing my hair and all that. Um, you guys have seen this top before. It's very, I thought with black it would look more subtle, but I mean, there's nothing subtle about this like sequins on this. But it feels very New York. Um, we're going to a place there. I think I think they require dressy clothes, but not like some of the restaurants you're looking at Like they required a suit coat for the guys um, Which I'm sure would be fun, but I don't feel like eating my money as much. I mean, we're, it's gonna be a nice place tonight But um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like this room just made everything so special um, We schlepped around in New York City a ton but this is like the first time actually staying in a nice hotel like with a view of the city. We actually stayed in downtown midtown Manhattan one time. There wasn't really a view, but it was nice and close to everything. That was nice, but the room was like this big, not cute or anything like that. So we have reservations for six o'clock. It's 5.36 now. We have to walk like, I think it's four minutes maybe. This hotel so far is like awesome, except we had to wait an extra half hour to get into our room which was very annoying, but we were just up on the rooftop, which was so beautiful, so it was fine. We had something to do. Um, but yeah, now we're going for supper. Where are we going? Yep. Like, see... So it sounds It sounds Italian, I don't know, sort, but yeah. um, they said, yeah, they have, what, pizzas and... Pizza, yeah, they've got a couple different, like, seafood options. It's and, supposedly, yeah. like, it's expensive, but we didn't go, like, all out. I did not realize how much you can spend on food in New York City. Yeah. The one restaurant I was looking into, Josh actually booked it then, because it was my birthday trip, but I was, like, kind of, like, poking around and looking for stuff. Um, the one place was $240 per person to get in the door. Right. 
And then you had to order your food yet, which I can only imagine how expensive that was. I was like, who are these people? Like, wow. I feel very blessed and very um, rich some days, but clearly we're just peasants. Not rich enough. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, so I don't know who those people are, what jobs they have, but. Um, Good for them. I'd rather spend my money on, like, this is a once in a lifetime hotel, right. would you agree? Yeah, like, for wow. Sure. I'll remember my 30th birthday, that's for sure. But yeah, anyway, we should probably get out the door. Mm -hmm. oh, I wish I had like a dressy pea coat or something. I'm just gonna put on my puffy white jacket again. Um, but it's okay, we'll take them off as soon as we get in the restaurant, I'm sure. But look at that. It's just crazy. Awesome. Every time I look out there, I see a new building. It's There's crazy. like, I wonder if that star building is like up there, like not at Christmas time. I don't know. Do you think that star is always up there? Probably. I don't know. The Chrysler building is so Probably cute. Not. Maybe. It's like all art deco. We could just order room service, you know. I know. I thought of that. <laughs> I know. Let's go out. I love people watching. Restaurants are for people watching, right? Yeah. And yep. probably a better conversations anyway. So yep. very good. We'll catch up with you later. restaurant was confusing to me. It had very dim lighting and it had candles and you were looking right out the Brooklyn Bridge. It felt so ritzy and fancy and the waiters, you know, did everything like with the napkins and the wine pouring and you know, they it was very upscale, but then the people sitting there seemed like, "Oh, this is just a casual hang." You know, they had on their converses and their sneakers and their hoodies and it wasn't like a big deal for them, but I don't know. I'm a country bumpkin. I thought it was like a fancy place with the Brooklyn skyline and everything. And <laughs> We got the best pizza I think I have ever eaten. It was a fire oven pizza and they kind of like charred the bottom of it. So good. I want to go home and try to make it, but guys, I'm going to tell you, I have to tell you a funny story here. So Josh is like, they have buffalo chicken pizza. What would you say? So buffalo mozzarella. Yeah, Josh pizza. is like, they have buffalo margarita pizza, which I love right. margarita pizzas with like the basil and everything. And he loves buffalo chicken. So we're like, how would they? fuse that together into a pizza. We're like, that sounds, we gotta, yeah, we gotta try it. So we order it and the exact wording on the menu was buffalo mozzarella, mozzarella. buffalo mozzarella basil. Is that what it just Something said? Like Comma. That, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so it came and we're like, oh, this is so good. It was the best pizza we've ever eaten. The crust was just perfection. It was like kind of charred and burnt on the bottom from like the fire. <clears throat> yeah. It right? was a wood grill. It was a wood fired but the, pizza. But the best part of it was the cheese. It was like so like rich and yeah. creamy and like you noticed it. Like you could taste every element of it. It was so good. And he's not really a foodie, but he was even agreeing this was like the best pizza ever. So the waiter came over. He was from Italy 10 years ago. He lived in Naples and his accent was super thick. buffalo on this. They missed it. Oh, I said to him, I was like, yeah, I thought there was going to be buffalo chicken on it. I was so confused. I was like, this pizza is amazing. And he's like, yeah, some people think that. He just kind of looked funny and he left. I'm like, Josh went back to eating. I'm like, Josh, what did you think it was? Well, I, thought, like, I was like, wow. I was like, that, that's amazing. Right. That's, that's why the cheese tastes so good. He's like, yeah, I know it's from Buffalo. And I thought he meant like <laughs> Buffalo, New York. Like I was like, well, it must come from, you know, it's all, I'm like, Josh, whatever. no. I was like, that's a strange way to market your cheese, but Buffalo, New York cheese. Yeah. And I'm like, Josh, <laughs> he like has a pizza halfway to his mouth. I'm like, no, they milked a Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was oh my word. You know what? If yeah. I ever see like buffalo milk cheese somewhere at like Aldi or somewhere fancy, yeah. like or like a fancy cheese shop or something, I'm I'm buying it. It was delicious. It but was I don't amazing. I think we both agreed if we had known it meant buffalo milk cheese, we would not have ordered it because Yeah, I don't know. I don't like that strong I'd like go back goat and order or again, sheep. Though. Oh I would, hundred oh, percent. Yeah, for so sure. Good. But yeah, he was wearing a tie and stuff and everybody else was like in hoodies. Not everybody, some people were dressed up. But like you could tell some people it's just a classic Friday night, you know, whatever. Um, we also did get some prime rib. Prime rib? Not prime rib. No, we got a steak, a filet mignon. We did get a filet mignon to share. We shared the pizza, shared the filet mignon, and that was just good enough for the evening. Watching the boat. Yeah. Oh my word. Right now, a huge barge is going by. Okay, so right barge. now I'm looking out the window and there's a barge and a water taxi going by. Oh my goodness. This view just does not get old. 
there's no need for a TV in this room, that's for sure. You could just look outside at everything. Wow. We also found a really fancy food court connected to it that looks so good. I think we're gonna hit that up for lunch today, depending where we're at in our meanderings and everything. <laughs> This is that river, river, the river cafe. Oh my goodness, this is the valet parking place. Guys, okay, this is the restaurant we were gonna, we looked into eating at, but it was like $250 just to walk in the door per person. <laughs> and you had to wear suit coats. Oh yeah. Jack, men had to wear jackets. For those of you who ever got into a place like that, let us know what it's like in there, because. No, I have my suspicions. It can't. Oh, it can't be any better than what we had that, tonight. I know that food's gotta be like <laughs> melting in my mouth. For me. I'm just a country bumpkin, and I don't even care. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Then we just headed home, and we actually checked out the rooftop bar at our hotel. And yeah, it was just kind of fun to people watch and watch the city at nighttime. The Freedom Tower was all lit up, and yeah, it was just a very. It was de definitely a vibe. It was really fun. Um, and then yeah, we came back to our room and we slept very good and now that brings us to Saturday So I'm not sure what to expect with the crowds and everything But there's a really cute coffee shop We want to hit up first get a coffee Maybe a bagel or we'll go right across to the food court and get the bagel there I'm not sure yet and then we're just gonna see where the day takes us. I would like to find a fun wall mural to take a picture at um, Josh you said you saw like some war memorial you wanted to see we thought about signing up for a, like an adventure or an activity or something but I don't like being on other people's time schedules really and um, we want to leave here around two to be home by the time the kids wake up from their naps so yeah we'll see where the day takes us After our little morning snack, we headed over to the Empire stores again. We were just so impressed by this building. These seven massive warehouses that line the water have been restored to be like a shopping center, event space, office space. And it's amazing how these buildings used to store all kinds of sugar and unroasted coffee beans. And it really makes sense with all the water traffic and trains going back and forth. It's just the perfect place to have warehouses. And you can just imagine this area being a bustling center of commerce so many years ago. I highly recommend coming in here, especially if you just enjoy history, but also shopping as well. We did stop at West Elm and just kind of dreamed a little bit. <laughs> Are you inspecting the roofs when we're at this beautiful West Elm? <laughs> Never marry a construction guy unless you know that's going to be part of the part of the arrangement. <laughs> And I was joking to Josh that if we happened to stumble across the famous Manhattan Bridge photo spot, I would love to take a picture. And what do you know, right around the corner. Oh my goodness, okay, so here's all the influencers in the wild getting their shot. <laughs> Josh, you too. So after that, we walked around into a few more shops. We stopped at the Brooklyn Flea Market where there was lots of handmade unique items. Very expensive thrifted finds. This, this fun sign to take pictures at. I was just having fun looking at all the little pop-ups and the way they branded their things. I don't know, that's just fascinating to me. And everything in Brooklyn or at least this Dumbo area was very loud. I can't imagine that there's a lot of residential spaces because wow.
We then found a very authentic Italian deli that was selling New York style bagels and we wanted to try them out. They, we knew it was going to be a good place when we saw the line went out the door and everybody was willing to wait a while for their bagel. Okay, let's try this. We got a plain bagel with cream cheese so we can truly judge if New York bagels are like famous for a reason. What are you thinking? Are you skeptical? No. Oh my word, this is so much bread. Okay, look at this. There's not even a hole in the middle of it. <laughs> it looks very unassuming. Here. Okay, that's a lot of bread. It's really good. It's like chewy and airy at the same time. And you know? Good call on the plain cream cheese, plain bagel. We discussed a couple things we wanted to do, but we ultimately ended up back on the Brooklyn Bridge again. The views were just calling our name. And then we wandered around Brooklyn Heights and Cobble Hill and just enjoyed looking at all the beautiful doorways and Christmas decor. Josh told me that prices were very much higher at Christmas time compared to going in November or January. <laughs> he should have told me that beforehand maybe, but I don't know, it did add to the charm of the city for sure with all the Christmas decor. Yeah, I but feel like two days was good. Yeah, like, two days we have fun. to spend more money and do more things if we were right. here longer, Correct. which is fine too, I guess. But I don't know, just little, I'd rather do a quantity of like little getaways like this than every 10 years doing like a seven day trip, you know? No, but why can't you do that and do a little trip? <laughs> well, I'm saying if you, <laughs> money wise and right. just like just prioritizing, yep, anyway. Exactly. That bagel earlier, I'm oh, sorry, a man, plain bagel good. with plain cream cheese. It was stellar. It was so, it was, it was how so can good. how can that be so good? Like how can yeah. it be good? It doesn't even sound. Yeah. Anyway, these people over here that were um, doing their TikToks are now laughing at us doing our thing with our big camera. <laughs> That's one thing. Fun thing about New York, you can pull out your camera and nobody thinks you're weird at yeah. all. Like I would never do this in our area. I'd use my phone to be more like discreet. I like watching for people that don't have cameras out. What do you mean? Notice it. About seventy-five percent of the people have phones out taking pictures and stuff. The other Maybe not even. Maybe the other twenty percent are locals who have nothing to take pictures of because they live here all the time. So I'm the <laughs> guy who looks like the weird dude walking around. Just I have been hands trying. In my to there is nothing quite like meandering around a city, exploring with no agenda and no timetable. It's very much against my nature to not have a plan or a schedule. But I don't know, on vacation it just feels right. We had so many in-depth conversations. Times like this are truly worth all the effort it takes to go on a little trip. And I will always remember this one. By this point, we were very hungry and we wanted to try world famous Grimaldi's Pizza. And so we waited outside for about half an hour and talked football with people behind us. And then we came inside and waited for another hour until our pizza came. And we tried to take a pizza back to our family, to my parents who were babysitting the kids, but they forgot about that part of our order. And so we weren't gonna wait another hour for that one. So we just said, forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> and we left. But yeah, this pizza was amazing as well. So I don't know if you were counting, but that makes three pizzas in 24 hours. <laughs> and then we were on our way home on this gloomy Saturday afternoon full of pizza and good times and good memories. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks so much for watching. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed hanging out with us and visiting the glitzy, glamorous, and slightly grungy Brooklyn. I am sure to be back someday again in the future.